Hello, my name is Tom Lodziak. In this video, Paul Whiting, the head coach at Plymouth Table Tennis Club, is going to explain some footwork exercises for blockers. Now, normally when we think about blocking, we think about it being a bit more passive and a bit more defensive, but that doesn't mean being still and planted and reaching out for balls. To be able to block well, you also need to make sure you are moving your feet. If you move your feet when you're blocking, then you can block much more consistently. Okay, over to Paul, who's going to explain the footwork exercises. If you need any table tennis equipment, then shop at the Brybar Table Tennis website. Brybar, the best table tennis equipment company. They sell a range of bats, balls, rubbers, blades, tables and other table tennis equipment. Go to brybartt.co.uk. Okay, so a lot of drills that people tend to do in the training sessions are involve the person who's controlling the drill playing from one position and the attacker moving across the table combining backhand and forehands. What I'm going to do today is get Stephen Craig to do a drill where the top spinner plays from one position but the blocker has to move. So when we're in a game and we're defending, I don't know, I call blocking defending, we have to be able to block from various areas of the table and move, not just stand still when we block. So I'll set up the first drill with the guys. Craig will play um, forehand top spins from the forehand corner and what I'd like you to do Craig is play one to Steve's backhand, one to the centre line, one to his backhand, one to wide forehand. So he's basically he's going to do backhand middle, backhand wide with block and he'll block to your forehand corner. That's good, and then you can raise the tempo just a little bit once you find your rhythm. That's good, Steve. Nice body position. Once more through that, guys, yeah? Steve on his toes there. Good. Okay, we can progress that a little bit, whereas Craig can now play one to his backhand, one to the middle, and then one either side, yeah? So every other ball goes to the middles. So this drill, again, trying to improve the, the anticipation of the blocker, not sure, knows where every other ball is going, but then the next ball can go anywhere. Again, we can go more irregular than that, where Craig can play one, two, or three to the backhand, one, two, or three to the forehand. Good, very good. Okay, so we'll, what we'll do is we'll put that into a competition. So what we'll do, Steve will serve long to Craig's backhand, Craig will topspin the first ball to the middle. You can block the ball to the middle, then he can go wide to either side and it's free. Okay, so a long serve to Craig's forehand. He's gonna to topspin the ball to the middle. And then free, yeah? Okay, so all these drills, one is based around making the, the person who's, control, who's blocking or defending the ball. Make them stay on their toes for the whole drill. Yeah, they can't stand flat-footed when they're playing this drill. But also increasing their anticipation of the attack. Encouraging them to look at the attacker's bat angle to see if they can tell where the ball is gonna go. Okay, so what I would, what I would suggest is when you're, when you're doing your drills at home, that you try and incorporate into your drills some drills where you're, you're controlling the ball, you're blocking, but you're making movements across the table. That can either be in a regular way, semi-irregular, which we did with the one to the middle, then one other side, or maybe you, once your blocking becomes stronger, that you can block from anywhere. Also, I'd encourage you to do this with a forehand from the backhand corner as well. So we can do the same drills from the backhand corner as well. I was keen to have a go at these exercises too, because 
If you've seen many of my other videos, I do like to block. I block probably a little bit too much. Now, as you see this footage here, you can instantly see that I'm a bit more upright than Stephen and my legs are a little bit stiffer. But I think as we go through the exercises, I think I do get a little bit lower and my movement is a little bit quicker. Good, oh, that one you just lifted a bit, Tom, yeah? Keep the racket nice and high. So as soon as that first top spin comes at you, try and keep your racket, if you drop your racket, you'll lift. Good. That's good, Tom. That's good. Good, you're not lifting that back on now? Yeah, so you weren't lifting that back, that back on was much more solid. Yeah. Keep it high and press down on it with the spin. Good, good, Tom. Now you got him. Right. Oh, he needed a net to get through you. A big thank you to Paul Whiting for sharing those footwork exercises for blockers. If you want to find out more about Plymouth Table Tennis Club, then go um, to their Facebook page. The address is just there. Um, and also a big thank you to Breibard Table Tennis for supporting this video series. I will have lots more videos coming soon, so I'll see you then. Bye-bye.